In today's video, we will see how to make a laser power measurement with Gentech EO accuracy in 7 steps. Welcome back, I'm Amadrian from Gentech EO, your partner for accuracy. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to see our next videos. So let's get started. Today I will show you simple step-by-step -step instructions on how to make the most accurate, repeatable power measurement with your thermal laser power meter. Step 1. Fire up your laser and make sure it is stable before starting a power measurement, around 20 to 30 minutes. You need to wait until your laser reaches a stable point before measuring its power. At that point, it reaches equilibrium with its environment. Step 2. Make sure you use the detector within its specifications. Every detector has its own specifications and you must use a model that fits your laser specs. The most common specifications include average power, power density, energy, energy density, repetition rate, beam size, etc. The simplest way to validate your laser power detector choice is to use our product finder tool. You can also contact your Gentech EO representative as we are always glad to help. Step 3. Make sure your beam size is between 40 and 60% of the optical aperture. This is the best way to ensure your laser's light is completely absorbed and converted to heat inside the detector. The sensing element behind the absorber is large and symmetrical, so use all that aperture area. A beam that is too small increases the probability that the detector will be damaged during the measurement process. Step 4. Laser on. Heat up your Gentech EO laser power detector for about 2 minutes. Since thermal power meters use the heat transfer principle, any difference in temperature between the environment of measurement and the detector itself will result in less accurate result. The best way to solve this issue is to heat up the detector. Two minutes are more than enough for the detector to heat up, but that depends on the power meter model. The larger the power meter is, the longer that time should be. Step 5. Laser off. Block the laser beam for two minutes. The step will allow the power meter head to reach temperature equilibrium. The thermal disk will transfer heat to its casing at a normal natural rate now. At the same rate, it will transfer heat when exposed to laser. Once again, two minutes should be enough. Please note that you need to provide space around the detector to allow air to freely flow and cool down the device by convection. Step six, zero the meter. Now it's time to use the zeroing function on your meter to define what is the baseline level for you the step will allow to remove the surrounding noise from the actual reading when the laser is on. Last step, number seven, is laser on. Heat up your Gentech EU laser power detector for about one minute. Unless you use the anticipation mode that allows you to have the readings much faster, we recommend you to wait at least one minute since we know that, of, uh, that after one minute the power will remain stable. Please note that detectors that can handle higher power are generally slower than low power ones. So you will have to wait a little longer for a stable laser measurement. There you have it. Now you know the seven steps that will allow you to measure your laser with Gentech EO accuracy. Thank you for watching.